we are hosting a video game character tournament combining 32 characters all hot all baddies one from each series to decide who is the hottest who is the baddest video game character of all time you guys vote one for the left character two for the right character and we all will decide out of all the 32 characters to get to one let's get started first round jet from valor and sarah from starcraft all i'm saying jet she has her wind draft abilities right she dashed towards you up drafts bounce on your sh Sarah um, Kerrigan, she was once a human and got turned into an alien. And I'm just kind of like, I would put her human form on here. But the thing is, I think her alien form is more badder. All right? I don't know if the smash pass has ruined me and I need moss girls all the time. But I'm just saying she's more badder in alien form. Can I smash the gun too? If you want to. And hey, if you want to smash Sarah, she has a bunch of little alien creepy crawly things. So if you want to include that too, then go for it, my brother. What does her human form look like? It's kind of mid. But the thing is, she can't change it back. So is there a point of even showing it? Yeah, see what I mean? I'm, that's what I'm saying. Monster form is better. I think Jet moving on we have zero suit samus or we have catherine from catherine full body both blondies blue eyes samus way more athletic while catherine and she's seductive she seduces you smash the samus gun all right bro it seems like samus is moving on so we have black cat from the spider-man game or we have mercy from overwatch too you guys probably have more hours consuming mercy content than actually playing the game let me say it right now if it was me personally i would include ash that western baddie where she can just spit in your mouth include bob in too as well i don't care but black cat yeah she ain't bad either Torb is a baddie. Okay, let's move on. All right, seems like Black Cat is beating out Mercy. Oh no, this got to be like the top four like favorites, bro. Both martial art baddie, Chun Li and Tifa. I would say I think I like Tifa's personality more because it was shown way more in Final Fantasy Remake. While Chun Li, I think I like her design way more with the cute buns and then you know the gods came over Chun Li. I don't necessarily disagree, but she's British. Jury, hey, don't keep them toes around me. But uh, Chun Li, I, I like her hairstyle more. They're both kind of like Loki muscle mommies. You know what I mean? It's hard, bro. This is hard and i'm hard as well so like it's just hard to choose fuck why did both of them have to be paired up against each other already in the first round bro even if i vote for tifa it seems like you guys overwhelmingly want chun Li, morgan or jill valentine morgan from dark stalkers i believe it's a fighting game old fighting game um succubus powers power to drain energy from others if it isn't given already she's a succubus and for me at this point i feel like these fictional human characters are just too vanilla for me jill valentine she's athletic you know she's good with guns you know if you're guns after yeah, then yeah, no, you pick her. I have a nice cold beer with her, but so good, Biss, Monster Girls. I just, I just gotta go with Morgan. Morgan can clone herself? Okay, yeah, that's the obvious answer. Hey, seems like everyone else is going with that option too. Game Lore Masters, if this is your game, drop in some hints about why we should smash that character over the other one. We have Ivy Valentine from Soul Calibur, and we have Pan Am from Cyberpunk 2077. Just looking at the aesthetics of the characters, Ivy. I don't need to say a lot. But when I look at Pan Am, I think I like her face more. But she doesn't have the got like Ivy, which is completely understandable why you guys don't like it. I feel like the only power that Ivy has is actually no two things. She wields a unique weapon called the Ivy Blade, a segmented sword whip created through alchemy. Maybe you guys are into the whole whipping thing, but like I wouldn't recommend it because that's a whip sword. So that shit is gonna cut you. And she also has grappling techniques. So if you wanna wrestle, do some wrestling, she picks you up, puts you in a headlock, knock you out, suck you until you wake up, go for that. Pan Am is just smart, compassionate. She's not like a super engineered cyborg. I think basically 100% of her is human, except for her like Neuralink or whatever in her brain. Yeah, Ivy moves on. We have Zelda from Tears of the Kingdom, or we have Catwoman from the Arkham series. I just feel like you guys are gonna say Zelda, and I feel like I'll say Zelda too, because why? Yeah. And secondly, she's an elf. I like her more. But with Catwoman, she's athletic, she's flexible, right? Also, she has a whip utility. She can whip it out and whip you. So if you're into that whipping stuff, vote Catwoman. You should watch Maple Star of Zelda video. Okay. Mark that down. Zelda, moving on. We gotta include one of the most popular gaming franchise in recent history, Fortnite. And you might disagree with like Dami being the most hottest skin in Fortnite. You know what? Let's just say for the sake of argument, this is Fortnite character X. If you wanna swap it in for whatever skin that is within the Fortnite canon and not any collab, then go for it. Or you wanna vote for Kitana, a Mortal Kombat character. Smash Peely. If you want to swap in Peely for Demi, then that's perfectly fine, but I don't think it would matter. Yes, if you wanna include the fan, go for it. You know, I don't know what you can do with the fan and all, but it's part of her kit. So, Tana moves on. Dokabi from Rainbow Six Seed. Or we have Bayonetta from Bayonetta 1, 2, 3. The reason why I uh, we put her on here is because, for some reason, there's a lot of R34 content for Dokabe. It is not like Ubisoft is, like, making her really appealing or anything like that. It's just the fans are extremely fixated on Dokabe and just makes crazy amount of content for her. Like, no skin is extremely revealing or anything like that, but people just love Dokabe. And Bayonetta, she has the most craziest provocative attack moves I've ever seen, where, like, she's, like, doing that 
crazy flip and like spread her leg and just flash bangs you. Okay, <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, Bayonetta might sweep with this. I mean, she's already sweeping. She can apparently slow down time. Like she can just do crazy shit to you in like a short amount of time and boom, she can also shape shit. And if you're into this, the whole BDSM thing, she can summon demonic device to execute powerful finishing moves on her enemies. Even without me listing all of her crazy abilities as enticing in a bedroom, Bayonetta is probably winning anyway. Francisca from Ace Attorney, or we have Cortana from Halo. Let's for the sake of argument, let's say if Cortana can be tangible, all right? She can exist in the physical world. She's not just a hologram or AI. Look, Francesca, I don't know why she has the whip thing. Every time she's like, busts out the whip and goes, don't whip that thing unless my ass is out in the air, all right? Cortana, her biggest plus is probably that she can manipulate machines. Bring in a toy, connect that shit to the Wi-Fi, and she can control that thing for you. If I have to choose, I would say Cortana. Yeah, Cortana moves on. We have Lady from Devil May Cry, and we have Raiden Shogun. I feel like a lot of you guys be like, oh my God, she's not even the best waifu. I mean, I agree. For me personally, when we're just looking at purely aesthetics, I think Beto is better. Lisa, baddest girl, Hades. Look, everyone is going to have their baddest girl, their favorite waifu. But for the most part, most people say Raiden is the best. When we're talking about in this scenario, when she's going up against Lady, yeah, I'm probably going to have to choose some Raiden. Like Lady, there's not much to her. She's just kind of a badass that can use guns. All right, Raiden moves on. We have Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series, or we have Miss Fortune from League of Legends. I basically know the whole roster of League of Legends. I wouldn't choose Miss Fortune, but it seems like the fan favorite character because this character gets literally so much skins for her. New PS2 Lara with the square boobs? No. All right, Miss Fortune moves on to B from Near Autonoma, or we have Gakken from Guilty Gear. <laughs> and oh my God, to B, she has the got, but sometimes the fan made content of her, they add a lot more meat to her. But the Guilty Gear character design, they're so crazy. Gakken, like, it. Don't keep them toes around me. Them toes ain't safe with me, okay? Yes, she's missing one arm. Yes, she has an eye patch and a scar, but they just add so much more to her character. Let's not even talk about the gats. I'm just more into like that type of badass woman that has some battle scars on her, you know what I mean? No arms equal better time. Oh no, she's, she does that one arm for a sword, you know, and your sword. 2B is definitely the fan favorite here, the most popular pick, so we can't argue with a popular vote. Shadow Sai or Mad Moxie? Mad Moxie, way more seductive. Shadow Sai, more manipulative and dominant. You guys can choose, but for me, I had to choose Shadow Sai. And hey, that could be some Persona 5 bias. Just the way they drew her with the whole choker and the dress and the tattoos as well. And her eyeliner. Yeah, same moves on. Rosalina from Mario series or we have Queen Asahara. Demon elf lady with the big um gods. Both characters are literally the opposite of each other. Rosalina way more caring and more compassionate while Queen Asahara, she is more dominant, self-centered, manipulative, all that. They're both flat. Just saying they're both flat is crazy. All right, Rosalina, moving on. We have Elizabeth and Loba. Elizabeth, highly intelligent and natural curiosity. She's willing to try stuff, try out new positions, try out new toy. Peers in the fabric of reality, allowing her to manipulate objects, environments, and even bring objects from other dimensions. She can bring in a whole lot of fun into this dimension. Or teleportation. You know, switch up position mad easy. Um, Loba, throw off the bracelet, throw it up, bounce on your shit. So yeah, I mean, I, I gotta go with Loba, bro. Everyone else going with Loba. Round two. All right, we are in the top 16. Who are we voting for? Me personally, I gotta go with the succubus. You know me, I love my monster girls. It just makes sense. The extra wings, the extra handlebars on top. They both have the same hourglass body, but it's the wings just help out a lot, bro. All right, next one. Ivy or Rosalina? Rosalina can manipulate objects, change their size, transform them. But for me, Ivy is just a badass woman. I love my badass woman. Ivy over three Rosalinas. That's a bold statement, but low key, I gotta have to agree. Hey, Ivy moving on. I mean, Chun Li is definitely a top four contender and probably moving on. She doesn't need to have any superpowers. She's just a muscle mommy. Really fit, flexible, built muscle mommy. She might just win this whole tournament. I don't know if there's a character that can really beat Chun Li. No petty votes? Yeah, un unlucky. Oh no, there's a petty vote. All right. Raiden or Bayonetta? Uh, Bayonetta, more milfy for me. I, I have to be honest. Raiden, I think Raiden's a little bit overrated. She, hey, she got them gods. But yeah, Bayonetta wins. Zero Suit Samus or Cortana? Remember, Cortana in this scenario, she is tangible. That means she can be touched. Samus, you know, she's Omega athletic. Like she's doing crazy hops and flips and she can do tricks, especially on it. But Cortana's just built that way. I'm just, oh man, I'm just, you know, in this scenario, usually I would say I would like thick more, but I think I'll go with Samus in this scenario. I just think the athletic build is more appealing for me. I'm going to say Samus. People are going with Samus. Um, we have Black Cat and Jet. Here's the thing. This is another hot take. I think most people like Jet, but if it was my personal pick for the hottest Valorant character, I would say Reyna. With her whole demeanor and her tattoos as well, I'm all over Reyna. Viper, how can I fit? Okay, my bad. Viper definitely top tier. KO, clearly the hottest. You're entitled to your own opinion, all right? All right, Black Cat is winning. Zelda or Loba? I'm thinking, me surely it's Loba, right? Like Loba's got the way bigger gods. Wait, you guys are saying one? For me, it's two, because Loba's just way more thicker. I'm kind of surprised about this up 
upset. Well, I guess maybe he's not upset because I'm kind of just surprised that people voted for Zelda. All right, Zelda moves on. The fan favorite, 2B, most likely gonna triumph over Tana. The thing is with 2B, like, I don't really like her demeanor. It's kind of calm and reserved. That's not my flavor of personality, you know what I mean? And you guys would just be like, who cares? You got a guy. And yeah, I, I get that, valid point. But it's just you know, a little sprinkle of seasoning, you know what I mean? The personality is definitely the seasoning we're talking about in this, this Smash sense. So, 2B, easily gonna move on. It could be a final of 2B versus Chun Li. That's probably gonna be the, the scenario that we're gonna end up with. Now we're moving to top eight. Morgan or Ivy. Both fighting game characters, both batted on their own right. I'm gonna have to go with the baddie sucky this. The haircut is so hot. The parting haircut? Yeah. I also like uh, Morgan's bangs as well, bro. I'm a sucker for bangs. Smashing the skull. Now we're banging shoulder pads out here. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah, the sucky business got my vote. Yeah, Morgan moves on. Samus versus Zelda. Easy pick for me is Samus. I think I just like the more athletic build. Is Zelda cool and all, but like, I played both Breath of the Wild and um, Tears of Kingdom. Like, Zelda bad and all, but like, for me, straight up, if it was my list, my favorite baddest character from Zelda, Urbosa. It's simple as that. Muscle Mommy takes a cake, and if it was Urbosa up here, she's sweeping um, Samus for me in my eye. Most people like Zelda. It is what it is. In this scenario, when she's going against Samus, yeah, Zelda wins as well. Oh, already. Oh my God. Okay, we don't even get to get to Grand Final with this. So this is the determining factor. 2B or Chun-Li. These are probably the, the crown jewels of the baddest video game characters going up against each other. Actually, both pretty athletic, but Chun-Li has way more muscles on her. You know what I mean? Which I think it's a way more enticing for me. 2B, you know, she's okay. I think her personality is the thing that kind of drags her. Chun-Li's personality, she's way more talkative, way more playful. It seems like Chun-Li moves on. Black Cat and Bayonetta, both very seductive and playful characters. But remember, Bayonetta has time slowing powers Okay, and she can also transform. I'm gonna have to go with Bayonetta. Black Cat, valid answer as well. Bayonetta, eight feet high? Why didn't you say so sooner? You got a tall baddie? Oh my god, bruh. But it seems like Black Cat move on. Okay, Black Cat back into the mix again. Morgan or Black Cat? The white hair makes her look old? I wouldn't say so because her face doesn't really have wrinkles. Silver hair is kind of normal within fictional characters. Yeah, I'm already gonna move on, bro. Yeah, I don't know if the Zelda bias is really gonna carry against Chun-Li. I'll be honest. Chun-Li is Chun-Li, bro. Chun-Li's just built different. She's just built perfect. Chun-Li winning the tournament might as well vote Zelda. I don't know. Maybe the succubus Morgan can beat her, but we'll see. All right, Chun-Li moves on. Final round, just like that. Chun-Li or Morgan. Both fighting game characters, but one is more muscular than the other, while the other one has supernatural features on them. Are these four bat wings? No, because she's a sucky this. I'm thinking Morrigan. Suddenly, comparatively to Morrigan, it's just a vanilla to me. Yeah, she's bad. There's nothing wrong with her design. What I have to choose, I'm choosing a sucky this that can kick my ass. Well, we got the end of vote there, guys. It seems like, and not surprisingly, Chun Li is the winner. She is the baddest, the hottest video game character. That do is be zip for the hottest video game character tournament. All right, I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, if you guys not have done so already, subscribe and leave a like on the video. All right, appreciate it, YouTube.